Hi, yeah. Welcome back to the small holding. So today I'm going to be grafting my damsons. I've brought six St. Julian rootstocks, which produce a medium-sized tree. And I've just taken a, a bit of the last year's growth off of my damson tree, and I'm going to be grafting them onto these grafts today. Now, I'm not an expert. I've only done 20 grafts in the past, and they were all apple trees. I did get 100% success rate, all 20 took, so I was actually quite surprised. Um, and I'm just going to do these the same way. So basically, I'll just quickly show you what I'm doing and, um, you know, we'll go from there. So basically, these rootstocks are a bit, they're a bit thinner than the apple ones. But then if you look at the regrowth from last year on the damson tree, it's quite thin anyway. So it's actually a fairly good match. Now, what I do is I cut them probably about eight to ten inches simple reason is i just think to myself if they're not going to come if something goes wrong then next year i can just cut below the failed one and do it again so i'm going fairly high about there nice sharp secateurs i've got two pairs of snips secateurs and a fairly sharp knife it could have done with being a bit sharper um you want as sharp a knife as possible really all i've done is sterilize my hands sterilize the secateurs and um, just to keep everything as clean as possible. And then I've got some of this tape, which is just called grafting tape. It's just like a slightly stretchy sort of tape. I'll probably cut off about a foot of that to do a graft. And um, just put that to one side, ready to go. And then I also just get myself a little piece of electrical tape just to hold it in place. Um, I have actually, I ran out of grafting tape when I did some apple trees and I did use cling film one year and it still worked. So um, there's no problems with that. So all you should try and do is to match the thickness as best as possible. It doesn't really matter as long as you get one half that matches, but I, I'm, I just try to match as best as possible the thickness of the scion wood, which is off the tree, to the, um, to the graft. And then take a, about a six or eight inch piece and then all I do, basically, I cut a split in the graft to make a V, and then I sharpen the point of that to go in the V, and then you just try to match up the cambium layers, and then they should should take. So basically, just very carefully with your knife, and I will do a close-up in a minute of another one, just to show you what, what I do, and just go down the depth of the blade right in the center really carefully i'll just ho hold the graft between my fingers and just squeeze so it doesn't split too far and just gently push that's the depth of the blade and then just put it out a smack in the center and then your scion wood is going to go into that so basically you know that you've gone the depth of the blade so i'll just put my thumbnail basically where i need to start and then just gently trim away like i say you want a sharper knife as possible this isn't perhaps as sharp as it should be and just try and taper it so that it will sit in that v as per perfectly as possible like i said i'm no expert i've done apple trees and they they all took so i think as long as the cambium layers match up you're going to be okay so i just pull off any slightly frizzy bits and then just just open the V slightly and insert your scion wood. It's a little bit fiddly because they're so thin. And then just push it down in the V. I'll try and get it so you can see, but I will do a close up, like I say. So that it just fits sort of so that it's touching and the cambium layers so just make sure it's level so the cambium layers match up a little bit fiddly but that should pretty much do it and um you obviously want to do this as quick as possible so that things don't dry out now the idea with this tape is that it holds the moisture in and puts some pressure on the split to hold it together so start at the bottom of the split and just wrap it back on itself just to get it started and just just sort of keep some tension on it and 
and just work your way up going around working your way up as you go I have in the past used a wax called I think it's called 10x wax grafting wax and you can you can just bind the split and then put wax on the top I have done that I did that on my first apple trees and that worked as well so all these ways work like I say even cling film worked one year I did a, I think I ordered 10 one year 10 two years later apple trees and I think I think I only had enough grafting tape left to do about three or four so the rest I did with cling film and they all came so basically just like that in fact I only needed about half that tape and then you just pull it and it just stretches and tears and that'll probably be enough to do the next one but because it will then ping off the good thing with using cling film it actually binds on itself even though i still did put a bit of tape around but just a little bit of electrical tape or, or sellotape or anything really but a weatherproof tape just around just to hold that in place so it doesn't come undone and that is basically a graft it looks a bit heath robinson maybe but um that'll do and then all I do is I just pick a bud and just trim just above him. And then that's the graft done. So what I'll do now is I'll bring you in closer and just run through it again and just show you a little bit closer. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I had to put a bit of a background here because it kept trying to focus on the pots behind. But anyway, so just to show you a bit closer. So I'm cutting the stock about eight inches eight eight or ten inches and then what i do is i get my knife and you can see the central pith the little dot so use that as your guide to go dead center like i said these are very thin so just be really gentle and i'll just support the stock with the two fingers and just push the knife down to the depth of the blade like that and then I'll get my scion wood from my tree and mark the depth of the blade um, obviously that you won't go right to the bottom so I start just lower than that and then just hopefully you can see that just skim it off twist it over make sure you're getting it straight and just work it down to a point something about like that so it should look like that and then just very gently so you've got the V and you've got the stick you want to just put them in and do it so the cambium layers which are just under the bark match so just put that in and push him down just making sure it's central push down to the top of your cut there so it should look something like that now are you when I did my apple trees I did worry about any little gaps if there was a little gap I thought oh is that gonna you know let air in let infection in but they all seem to callous up as long as you've got a fair bit of contact I think it's fine so what I then do is I get a little bit of masking tape just an inch or so so everything's trying to blow away at the moment it's a bit windy I just put that on the edge of the pot ready to go and I get about 10 inches of grafting tape start below your cut and just go around itself a couple of times just so that it gets a grip on itself like that and then start to put some tension on it as you go around and just slowly work your way up a few millimeters at a time each turn just putting some pressure on the the split to sort of pull it together onto the scion wood 
being careful not to move the sawn wood once you've got it into the position you want it. And I'll just go up the sawn wood about an inch, round a couple of times, pulling it tight. You want it nice sealed so that no moisture can get in there. And then I'll go back down so you're getting two layers around the actual join pulling it you can, if you can see as you pull this grafting tape it just has a stretch to it so you're getting a nice bit of tension in there but it doesn't grip on itself it's not sticky or anything it's just like a plastic so I, I come down and when I finish that's why I use a little bit of electrical tape and I just go around the end just to hold it in place so that now won't come off and that is basically a graft there's no gaps at the top for any water or anything to get in that holds the moisture in stops it from drying out keeps out any harmful bacteria and stuff i suppose too just keeps the whole thing sort of sterile and sealed and you want to put this you don't want it in direct sunlight i don't i don't think i always put mine in a bit of shade until they've actively started to shoot but um yeah that's hopefully uh a successful graft so there you go and when i finished i just trimmed the graft the uh, sign wood to about four or five inches just above a bud so that's yeah five six inches something like that and i'll keep that moist and like i say put it somewhere dappled shade or even in the shade for a few weeks just just to let this sort of make its connection and, and start to seal and heal up and hopefully that'll work like I say, I've only done apples before. It's the first time I've done anything else. So, but hopefully it'll work. It's the same principle, um, and it'll give me a few more trees. I do love my damsons. I love my damson jam. Um, so it'll give me a few more trees to dot around the small holding. But um, anyway, guys, quick little video there on grafting. Like I said, there, there, there's plenty of other ways of doing it. You can have a Google. There's all different ways of grafting buds and all loads of different ways. This is just the way I do it because I'm a novice. Um, and I've had 100% success with it, so I'm just gonna stick with what works, really. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for now. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.